出锅那个石榴，中午老三起码。Now we come to resolution number two. Moved by Sri Adilabad Nongrom, MLA, this House do now resolve the pertaining employment of our youth by suggesting the state government to bring relaxation for all state government jobs and increase the upper age limit from 32 to 38 years and state civil service up to 40 years. Sri Adilabad Nongrom, please move the resolution. This house do now resolve. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Yes, sir. This house do now resolve the pertinent employment of a youth by suggesting the state government to bring relaxation for all state government jobs and increase the upper age limit from 32 to 38 years and state civil service up to 40 years. You may initiate. This uh, very concept. So I take this uh, opportunity to thank you for admitting and allowing me to move or to brought or to uh, or to bring this uh, resolution in this very august house. So let me start. By reminding all the honourable members of this August House that this is not my only desire as a Khnam, as representing from Khnam myself, or as a UDP, with due respect. But this is the de desire of. Our beloved, qualified youth of the state. <clears throat> so, with regards to the issue in hand, I may like to draw the kind attention of all the members of this August House, and for which, in fact, for the people to whom we are all representing. For our respective constituency, and moreover, why I brought this very vital issue pertaining to the crisis of unemployment. This is not because a want, but it is a need. It is the need of the hour. Because of the gravity situation arises, therefore we need <clears throat> to change our mind, to change our decision. This is regarding the raising, the raising of the upper age limit with regards. To applying for government jobs in the state of Meghalaya by the elig uh, eligible job applicant belonging to the Kasi Jaintia and Garo community. So before I move ahead, let me make clear: even though myself am part of the government, as the same coalition partner, but I make a promise that I can go. Against my consents and my principle, so therefore I have to bring this issue in the form of resolution. Because me myself, I can no longer believe. I no more longer believe in question hours and question replies or motion. What straight with resolution, so that people of the state. Will see the seriousness, and they will judge unto us. <clears throat> I therefore <clears throat> may like to highlight the following points as to why I made this suggestion before this August House. 
Number one, it is pertinent to state that majority of the tribal people in our state generally would finish their bachelor's degree at the age of 23 years and master's degree at the age of 25 years. For those who had finished the bachelor's degree, they would have nine years left to get a government job. And for those who had finished the master's degree, they would have seven years left to get a government job, which is extremely less considering the extreme difficulty in getting a government job taking into account from the past five years. Till date, it will become more extremely difficult and especially in the coming years. <clears throat> Number two, the current status of cut of age or upper age limit for job eligibility at 32 years for ST is suited for the 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, where there was less educated youth and jobs were plenty and somewhat easy to get accommodated. I remember history narrated by our beloved parents, be in your place, be in my place. They used to tell us that at a point of time, they pass out only matriculation. Everyone, they come and invite to join the government job. But today's situation is very, very difficult. But I may say that in this present scenario, the same kind of procedure eligibility for job as parent most certainly is not suited. Hence, we have to adapt to the ever-changing times as other states in India have done in so far as age eligibility is concerned. Since many of our educated youth needs more time and needed more preparation for finding government jobs. For example, they have to apply for government jobs, for government posts of the various states and central government they have to undergo for job coaching programs, especially for technical subject and finally to appear for these various exams which are mostly conducted one year later after the advertisement, particularly in the case of state government exams. One year, it may take two years, and also it may take two, two con to three consecutive years. How much our beloved youth had wasted the opportunity. Point number three, to substantiate my submission and for confirmation, I may like to request the official and the public to have a glance and search via website and shall observe that from amongst the eight public service commission of the eight northeastern state respectively, our state, Meghalaya, has the lowest cut of age for the tribal, that is, at 32 years of age, Tripura has the highest cut of age for the tribal at 45 years of age, while Assam and Manipur have the second highest cut of age for the tribal at 43 years of age, respectively, for any government post, including their own state civil service. <clears throat> for example, state name Arunachal Pradesh, age eligibility 18 to 35 years, for state tribal relaxable by five years. That is another two years, that is 20, uh, 37 years. Mizoram, 21, up to 35 years, age eligibility, and another relaxable to 38 years. 
Manipur, 21 to 38 years, another 43, up to 43 years. Assam, 21, up to 38 years, another five years, that is 43 years. Tripura, 18 to 40 years, another 45 years. Sikkim, 18 to 40 years. But no extension since 40 years got of age. Nagaland, 21 to 30, uh, to 30 years, again to 36 years. Where about Meghalaya, our beloved state? 18 to 27 years, now to 32 years. So it need more to increase up to 38 years. This is my proposal. Therefore, it may be proper and just that Meghalaya should have an age eligibility for government's job, aspirant of 21 years, lower age limit, and 34 years upper age limits. Relaxable with four years for the Kasi, Jaintia, and Garos, Shell tribe, upper age limit at 38 years of age, which with another two years relaxation, upper age limit at 40 years. For those applying for the post of MCS, MPS, MOS, MFOS, and, F, and MFS in the state of Meghalaya. <clears throat> Another, the fact and circumstances above, I urge the government to increase the age eligibility, eligibility cut off bar, upper age limit to 38 years for the local ST belonging to the Kasi, Jaintia, and Garo community, respectively, <clears throat> who are applying for all types of government jobs, and 40 years upper age limit for all types of state civil services. <clears throat> the members of this August House and the officials can also check and verify the situation prevailing in the other nine states of the mainland India, which comprise the tribal populace to that of the other seven northeast states except Meghalaya. <clears throat> Perhaps the time has come for the state government to kindly immediately raise the age eligibility <coughs> cut of age. Upper age limit for the local ST so that the method should be at par with the other state of India, given that as can be seen in this present generation, getting a common job is extremely hard. And hence, it is my humble opinion that this government should make the necessary change as suggested above. I once again reiterate, reiterated that state headed by non-tribal in the mainland, India, Assam, and Tripura have increased the age eligibility bar for applying government jobs, ranging from 40 years <coughs> excuse me, to 45 years. The question is why? Is it difficult for a state with majority of tribals and headed by tribal like Meghalaya to do so? In which this step would surely be shown and apparent to all about being pro-people and pro-youth. And this government has claimed to be. Before I conclude, sir, I firmly believe that we are all here for our beloved youth of today's and moreover for the upcoming future generation to pave way for them as there is a say past belong to us but we do not belong to the past we are the framers of the future but we do not belong to the future if you are really serious with the life and the future, let's adopt this resolution through a spirit of uniformity and responsibility so that hope will find a place in the mind and heart of our beloved youth. 
with his few suggestions. I would like, therefore, to urge this very august house. Honorable members, to kindly adopt this resolution. It's time that we should think not just for our own position, but we have to think for their position. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. With this few suggestions, I, will, uh, I would like to resume my seat. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. <coughs> Any other members would like to participate? So I will call uh, the Chief Minister, Minister to reply. Chief Minister, please. Mr. Honorable Speaker, sir. At the very outset, I am thankful to the Honourable Member, Sri Edelbert Nongrum, MLA, who has uh, moved the resolution to discuss the issue to resolve the pertaining employment of our youth by urging the state government to bring relaxation for all state government jobs age limit from 32 to 38 and the state civil services up to 40 years. So the state of Meghalaya was set up on the 21st of January 1972 under the provisions of the Northeast Areas Reorganization Act 1971. According to the existing rules and orders, the present upper age limit for entry into government services is 27 years. Candidates belonging to scheduled tribes and scheduled caste have a, have a relaxation of five years over the upper age limit fixed for general candidates. Relaxation slash condonation of age over and above the normal maximum age limit fixed for entry into government service is allowed in respect of those employees who are already in government service for recruitment to post through the Meghalaya Public Service Commission slash District Selection Committee or any other agencies approved on this behalf. The matter for raising the age limit for recruitment to all state governments is under examination. The Meghalaya Civil Service, which is the premier service of the state, was constituted with effect from 5th of July, 5th of August 1975, when the Meghalaya Civil Service Rules 1975 was promulgated. Recruitment to the services is made by A. Competitive examinations conducted by the Meghalaya Public Service Commission and B, selection from amongst persons serving in connection with the affairs of the state of Meghalaya. The proportion of vacancies to be filled up is in 90 by direct recruitment and 10 by promotion. So there are pros and cons to enhance to the enhancement of the upper age limit. And with your permission, I would like to just mention a few. Sir, by enhancing the maximum age limit to 40 in terms of MCS and 38 in others, 
it would give a fair chance to more aspiring candidates who have completed their minimum prescribed qualifications and also to give a second opportunity to those who could not be successful in the preceding competitive examination. Increasing the age limit also discourages young aspirants who have just graduated and are looking for employment. It may also be pointed out that there are uniformed services which have set a physical standard for recruitment. Increasing the upper limit for such posts is not practical. It is important to also note that the duties of an NCS officer, especially a field level post, is physically demanding. A junior duty post officer, a junior duty post officer spends the first 10 to 15 years of his or her service in the field. He or she is responsible for performing field works of inquiries, conducting of inquests, inspection of development works, survey of revenue matters, providing relief in the event of an outbreak of any natural calamity and maintenance of law and order, etc., which sometimes needs certain physical standards of performance. Further, if the upper age limit is increased, there would be very less time to garner experience for efficient service delivery and also very less promotion avenues. It may also be mentioned that with the introduction of new defined pension scheme 2010, where the beneficiary, where the pensionary benefit is based solely on the factor of contribution, retirement benefits might not be viable for an individual with less years of service. The matter of increase in upper age limit is being examined by the government and a decision will be arrived at by taking into consideration all aspects of the matter. So the submissions that have been given by the Honourable Member have been noted down and as mentioned in my reply, one has to look at all aspects of uh, recruitment all aspects of the kind of work that one has to perform at the grassroots level and then decide on how we can move forward by giving the opportunity to the youth in one place but at the same time ensuring that the actual work is not hampered in the process of increasing the age limit. So therefore uh, this matter needs detailed examination the Honourable Member had also mentioned that in a large uh, number of states which have a large non-tribal population. Honourable Chief Minister, can you take a seat, please? It's 2 o'clock now. <clears throat> you may continue in your reply in the next day.